You know, I just want to start by uh, recognizing uh, Dr. Bollier. She just had a, a nice call, very gracious uh, in defeat, and just want to compliment her and her staff and uh, just, just wish her and her family the best. Putting your name out there um, in the state of Kansas as a Democrat is not an easy task to do. And uh, just wish the very best for her and, and, and just have the, uh, have the respect for her that she deserves. You know, there are so many people to thank tonight. But I want to start by thanking the people who voted for us, who elected us, who placed their confidence, their faith, and trust in Lena and myself and, uh, and our family uh, to represent you. It's, you know, it's, it's a great honor, it's a greater responsibility, and we're not going to let you down. I also want to thank for every person, though, who voted in this election, regardless if you voted for Dr. Bollier or for Roger Marshall, that we're always going to be Kansans first, that we're Americans first, and I am going to represent this entire state, that that is my responsibility and that's my duty. Lane's of my prayer tonight is for healing that all Americans can come together and defeat our common enemies, both those that we can see and those we can't see. That through these trials and tribulations, we can arise a stronger, more unified republic. Lane and I are committed to fight for you and for your future so that future generations have the same shot at the American dream that we've had. We're gonna fight to keep your family safe, healthy, and secure. We're gonna fight to bring jobs back and to grow this economy and we're going to fight to protect Kansas values. We're going to protect these values, like our freedom of speech and our freedom of religion, our right to bear arms, and the sanctity of life. We're going to fight for secure borders, a strong military, to take care of our veterans. And always, and always, we're going to stand up for our law enforcement. As I kind of you know, close this down and think about my final reflections of this election, and I don't know what's going to happen nationally, but I think Kansans have chosen freedom over socialism. Kansans have chosen liberty over tyranny. And we've chosen liberty over lockdown. We've chosen yeah. liberty yeah. over lockdown. Yeah. That we believe in smaller government, not bigger government. That yes. we believe that we're a public whose powers are truly vested in the people, where individual liberties triumph over all enemies. I believe our election results will help protect our Kansas values, our freedoms, our liberties, at least for another two years. This victory, like the U.S. Senate seat, belongs to the people of Kansas. This has been a year like no other. But I know better days are ahead. To the families who've lost loved ones, amid this pandemic, the everyday workers and small businesses who are still struggling to make ends meet, and the farmers and my ranchers concerned for their future, know that we will fight for you every single day, and together we will persevere, together we will emerge stronger than ever before. Yeah. On behalf of Lane and myself, our family, our team, thank you, and God bless this great nation. Yeah.